Hey guys, all right, welcome back to Cal's Clips. And today we're gonna take a little detour here and have a look at some of the craziest coincidences. The one in a million. Yeah, this should be really interesting because I'm a big sucker for videos like this. So let's have a little watch and let's see what crazy coincidences we are gonna be watching today. Full of spooky coincidences. And sometimes these uncanny happenings are so unexplainable. It seems like the world we live in is just one big simulation. One big simulation. There are plenty of cool photobombs out there, but this story of fate accidentally captured on film has got to be the craziest yet. This right. photograph belongs to a woman named Hugh, who posed in front of the May 4th sculpture in the town of Guangzhou in China during a trip with her mother in the year 2000. This All buried right. memory didn't seem too significant until she began reminiscing with her husband over a decade later in 2011, when the pair made a shocking discovery. Hugh's husband, Yi, instantly recognized himself as the figure in the background of the old photo. No way. Bro, that must be the weirdest and like your stomach would feel weird after noticing that. So not only were they there at the same time, but it's also the picture was taken at the same place at the same time by both sets of people. The lovers met thousands of miles away from Quanzhou but had stood just feet apart on the same day as teens. 88-year-old Minnesota resident Ray Olvey was out for a stroll in a local right. park one day searching for the perfect branch for his cane-making business when he stumbled across an unusual right. object. He picked up what he believed to be an old snuff can from the path, only to discover that the historical artifact was actually a hockey puck he had lost some 70 years earlier. I need proof that it was him seven years earlier. Olvi was overjoyed at the discovery, but no. was unable to tell his friends as they had all passed away. Oh, that's a bit sad. So he contacted the manufacturing company instead to congratulate them on the success of their lifetime guarantee. I'm not buying that. First of all, it's a shit coincidence. But realistically, he's found a puck that happens to have his initials on there and he's gone, ah, oh, well, this is a fuck. This just must be mine. We can all inherit all kinds of weird things from our parents, okay. but who knew it could go quite as far Ugh. as this horror story? An anonymous poster took to Reddit to share a freaky coincidence. My dad's index tip was cut off when he was 10. My index is shorter than my pinky. The very same finger on their hand stopped growing at the same length. Yo, resulting what the? in an abnormally stubby finger smaller than a pinky. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. In this image, someone shares the uncanny way newspapers had been stacked at work so that the only- Yo, that is trippy as hell. I wonder if that's done on purpose, though. Like, has someone realized at the printing thing, like, this is where the fold line is. Maybe it's just the most elite marketing of all time. Sentence reads, this is not a coincidence, over right. and over. This meta one in a million chance quickly became a concern to commenters though, who instantly saw the dark side and warned the poster that the strange occurrence could be a matrix style message alerting them to wake up from a dream. It's an elite marketing scam, it has to be. This incredibly lucky couple from Canada have learned after becoming third time lottery winners. Bruh, 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 bruh. How do you win this shit three times? First one big in 1989 when they split 128,000 Canadian dollars. Oh, I thought it was gonna say 128 million. And to their surprise, they repeated this feat in 2010, scoring another 100,000 Canadian bucks. In a uh, historic turn of events, the couple became joint winners of a 16.3. So the first two, I was there like, yeah, like the numbers are small, so there's not that many entrants in it clearly. But then this one here where they've got 16.3 mil. Let me see, how much is that in like British pounds? One second. Yeah, it's just shy of 10 million pounds. Whether this woman is extremely lucky or a walking bad omen is totally up to you. Right. Violet Jessup had survived a nasty case of tuberculosis as a baby but little did she know she was about to become one of the most seemingly indestructible women of all time. During her lifetime, Miss Jessup was an Irish stewardess and a nurse aboard three of the most significant boat-related disasters in history. Oh she served God. on the HMS Olympic when it struck the HMS Hawk in 1911 and was aboard the right. HMS Britannic when it sank after hitting a sea mine in 1916. Oh, and did I mention she also survived the sinking of the RMS Titanic? There's certain people, if there's someone like you, just stay away from them because you know things are just going to go west. This has to be one of those people. You can't come to my birthday. The ceiling will cave in when you're here. Lucky escape. Okay. Luck and coincidences often go hand in hand. This narrator's voice is really weird. He likes to talk like this. And wow, what a coincidence that was. This image, which shows a car narrowly avoiding being crushed by not that's one, pretty, but two lucky. fallen trees in the wake of a storm. As onlookers stand by in amazement, 
No doubt the owner is claiming it was all in the strategic parking. Nothing has been quite as crazy as the very first one, in my opinion. A true coincidence makes you think, what are the odds? Ooh, okay. And this image definitely in cap. Peekaboo, I see you, peekaboo, that's jokes. Joining forces to convey an age old class. People need to start getting license plates to match with their friends so they can pull this sort of shit off. Peekaboo, and I see you. A truly momentous occasion like this one should go down in the history books. Moving house can be tiresome, and renovating can be a truly momentous task. But all that stress was worth it for some new homeowners who made a hilarious discovery. Alex and Jess Monty were in the process of jazzing up the dated bathroom in their new home in the Bay Area when their contractor sent them a photo of a note he discovered behind the plaster. Some Which previous is? owners strategically placed a message in night. Hi, we're the Shinsekis. We remodeled this bathroom summer of 1995. If you're reading this, that means you're remodeling the bathroom again. What's wrong with the way we did it? That's an amazing letter. As they say themselves, what's wrong with the way we did it? The hilarious homeowners even left a note from their pet rabbit for good measure. Of course, the find went viral, Amazing. but efforts to locate the legendary Shinekis from 1995 they find have been unsuccessful. No! Spontaneous coincidences like this one are often the craziest, and immortalizing the moment on camera can produce a timeless gem. This guy must have been maintaining his physique all year round just to Why? prepare for this legendary vacation snap. And doesn't that distant Alan look suspiciously like the human shaped Tafiti oh from Disney's Mama? Oh my god, that is such a reach, man. You may recognize actor Frank Morgan as the great wizard from the 1939 okay. film The Wizard of Oz, but Morgan actually played five different roles throughout the film, including a cab driver, the guard at the gates to Oz. When the budget was lacking, look, the actors had to make their money somehow, so my guy just decided to do five different roles. Morgan needed to look like a man down on his luck. So the costume department picked up a rack of coats from a secondhand store and allowed him to pick one. While filming, Morgan turned out the pocket of the coat and found the initials of L. Frank Baum, the original author of The Wizard of Oz from 1900. What he thought was an added stamp of authenticity actually turned out to be an incredible coincidence as the producer contacted the original tailor and discovered that the coat had in fact belonged to the deceased author. Bruh, that is kind of nuts, you know. Seriously, the coincidence of that, that is crazy. This unbelievably spooky coincidence happened at the jolliest time of year as sisters Lavinia and Lorraine from Norfolk, England were driving home when they were involved in a crash. This wasn't any old car accident though, as the sisters had crashed into each other, and they hadn't even been aware of each other's separate journeys. The 31 year old sisters were ironically on their way to the- There's no way they're smiling after that. Look, you are pissed. Your Christmas is ruined, and especially if it was your sibling that knocked into you. Coincidences involving family members are so common that it's hard to deny the inexplainable connection between close relatives. These twin brothers have proved this so much that they had a big part to play in the age-old nature versus nurture debate, which questions the impact of learning from our environment All versus right. the influence of biological traits. Come on, then. Known what as the is Jim it? Twins, the brothers were put up for adoption as babies in 1940 and grew up without any contact or knowledge of one another. That's Yet they sad. lived identical lives. Both men were renamed James, or Jim for short, and grew up with a dog named Toy, and each married a woman named Linda, who they divorced to remarry women named Betty. Nah, this is sus. They even drove the same Chevrolet and vacationed at the same beach in Florida. I'm telling you, stuff like that, they knew of each other. They were doing this on purpose. And the most meta twist, one lucky person stumbled upon an infamous Nokia brick fossilized inside an actual brick. Yeah. As if we needed any more proof that these things are actually indestructible. Facts. The best part is that the battery probably still isn't dead. You could still turn on that Nokia and you could still play Snake on it. The Simpsons Prophecy. Yo, The Simpsons has predicted so much stuff. It's actually mental. The Simpsons has been accused of prophesizing all sorts of current affairs and vintage episodes. Most notably, Twitter users noticed that the show predicted the rise of Trump as president in some pretty uncanny ways. Although yep. these near identical images are from a 2015 Simpsons clip, an episode what? called Bart to the Future from the year 2000 did reference Trump's presidency in a joke when Lisa Simpson is president. We've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. Now fans are speculating that The Simpsons had predicted the tension between child climate change activist Greta Thunberg and the president in some strikingly what? similar images. Nah, they're forcing this. When a new member of staff joined the Packard's Children's Hospital in Stanford, USA, experienced nurse Vilma Wong felt an uncanny sense of familiarity. Wong looked up the man's name and discovered that he had been a premature baby she cared for at the very same unit some 30 years earlier. 
The once two pound baby wild. named Brandon Seminator was now a second year pediatric neurology that resident who was to become her colleague at the unit. Perhaps his experience under Wong's care inspired his career path, and the reunion between the two certainly made her life's work. Wait, are they dating now? That picture there looked like they started dating. On 3rd March 2017, New England based photographer. If this is a picture of lightning, I'm gonna be fuming. Snapped an incredible image of some huge waves striking a local lighthouse during right? a storm. That can't be it. Online, a local TV station asked for permission to use the photo, but it wasn't long until Risman was accused by viewers of plagiarizing the work of another photographer named Eric Gendron. After seeing Gendron's identical image, Risman got in contact and discovered that the pair had captured the exact same millisecond for within a few feet of each other without knowing. That is actually wild. Yeah, fair enough. Coda Inman Alstrom was out for an afternoon stroll with his girlfriend All in a right, California park vibing. when he noticed something unusual among a the leaf. leaves. Stopping to pick up the discovery, Inman Alstrom almost couldn't believe his eyes. An artistic pigeon had pooped a perfect self-portrait on a leaf. No, no, no. It's just a bit of shit. With the accusations of suspicious Photoshop. Determined to clear his name, he returned to the park and sure enough, discovered the leaf once again. Redditors suggested it be sent to a museum, while one even offered $1,000 for it. At first, Bill Morgan might seem like an incredibly unlucky guy. This Australian truck driver was involved in a brutal collision, which almost killed him, declaring him clinically dead for 14 minutes. Morgan cheated death by miraculously reviving from the depths may never return. After 12 days, just as his family prepared to switch off the machines, Not like Morgan this. miraculously awoke, happy to be alive. What's up, bitches? What, you thought you could get rid of me? Psych! Got a new job and bought a scratch card, which won so him a new car worth about 17,000 Australian dollars. Amazed oh. by his incredible luck, a local news station had him reenact the moment by completing a scratch card on TV, and the unthinkable happened. Bill Morgan won a 250,000 Australian dollar cash prize live on air, and his reaction is just priceless. I just won 250,000. Oh. That is... Oh. Bruh! Oh. Oh. Some people are just lucky like that. G Giza came back from the dead and he does that. 250 Gs. Anyways, guys, there we go. That wraps it up. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I'll see you guys on a little bit. Much love. Peace.